Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we are playing Cold Waters. Um, originally, I was going to uh, keep going with our 1984 campaign, the Third Patrol, but let's uh, let's step into the new millennium, huh? And give this thing a start. And we will be taking command of the Sea Wolf. And let's go through the uh, opening slideshow. I will allow uh, a few seconds per frame so that if you guys want to pause, you totally can. But if you're unfamiliar with this, uh, basically, uh, the, you know, hard-hitting uh, Asian stock market. And of course, Russia is in a large part of Asia. So they were hit hard and they have decided to uh, sell all of their fancy Soviet gear to the Chinese. Ningbo. Where the hell is Ningbo? Anyways, satellite photos show that an enemy battle group, armed to the teeth with cruise missiles, is preparing to sail from Ningbo. Intelligence estimates that it will make a conservative patrol in the vicinity of... Nothing. Locate this group and sink as many ships as possible. Previous recon indicates the force will contain at least one or two ships armed with anti-ship cruise missiles. Consider these your primary targets. An enemy escort of service combatants and or attack submarines should be expected. I, I do not like the fact that I have absolutely no fucking clue where to take my boat. I mean, really. Well, there's Ningbo. Would it? Nope. If I had to fashion a guess, it would be somewhere over here. I mean, I could be totally wrong about that. I mean, I guess best thing to do is just wait and see for a surface group. Mm, warships, because they move fast. Or was it Taipei? Ah, uh, and we were coming in hot too. Clear, fresh breeze, no surface duct, no thermal layer. Don, rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay, so we've got 84 decibels of ambient noise. And the floor is at 1914, which I think if our test depth is uh, 1600 feet, I'm pretty sure we could touch bottom without imploding. Contact bearing three five three designated Sierra one. Con sonar new contact bearing zero three two designated Sierra two. All right, let's get these identified. Well, it might be a submarine, huh? 
the Ming looks like. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. pretty close. Come right to three, four, two, helm I. Near the surface. I don't know, can I escape? No. Accelerate some time. Con, helm, steady course. Con, sonar, Sierra 2 is cavitating. And no longer cavitating. There you are. I can totally be pinged if he goes active, but... Let's get a look at this guy. A Ming, huh? Well. Okay. I mean, I could about face uh, about 150 then. Make depth one five zero feet. Die by. Let's get a little bit closer. Come left to three zero five. Helm I. Con dive at one five zero feet. Dive I. Yeah, just a little bit closer. Wait and oh shit. Okay. This seems like a good spot to, uh... Alright. Come right to three, five, nine, helm I. I will be ready to, uh, emergency deep after I launch this motherfucker. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. And as soon as he pings, I launch and emergency deep. I mean, he's already within seeker head range. Kind of tense, very first Chinese action. We are in the positives now for passive sonar. Probably ping us any second now. Come 
Helm left to three zero five. Helm I. Three on the passive sonar numbers. Is a yellow that is a yellow torpedo Con, helm, steady course. Passing 300 feet. Con, sonar, lost contact. Got him. Sierra, one. La Passing 400 feet. Con, sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing 600 feet. Passing 700 feet. You know what? Let's let's Passing take this thing down. Feet. Let's see if we can get close Passing to the bottom. Passing 900 feet. Passing 1,000 feet. Passing 1,100 feet. Passing 1,200 feet. Passing 13. Make turns for five. Not maneuvering eye. Passing fifteen hundred feet. All right, so we are now reaching test depth. Let's find out how much farther down we can go. Almost a half mile of water above me. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Nice. Actually, let's get a moss loaded up into that. Passing 1800 feet. Okay then. Con, less than 50 feet below the keel. All right. Passing 1,900 feet. Let's get that ballast back up into the positives. <laughs> Ooh, I don't even think you could get a human under that. So yeah, looky there. We hit 1,900 feet, and I. I don't even think we were close to imploding. I think we could go all the way down to 2100. I think. I'm... I really don't want to test that, but... I mean, it seems that you can go roughly 500 feet past test depth. Or at least you could with the uh, Los Angeles class. Test depth of 900, implode depth of 1400. Or was it 1,500? I don't remember. Yes, I know that's not my mission target. I honestly have no fucking clue where my mission... That's not it. And of course, we came in at 20 knots. Sonar. Rig ship for ultra quiet. And... We are in 200 feet of water. Back emergency. Maneuver guy. Get down to five knots ASAP. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Let's 
79 decibels, so we should be able to hear something. Bearing 72. So, this way. Come right to zero six one helm I make depth two zero zero feet die by I mean I cannot hear them at 79 decibels so they they have to be pretty far out right I sure can. <laughs> yes, I know it's not my target. Bah! Discouraged. Well, guess what, fuck face. You know what? All right, all right. All right. I know this is still in beta, so there's going to be some... Some stuff to work out. Like, you know, giving us the location of a target. Also, let's let's not give time sensitive Alright. Well yeah, let's not give time sensitive missions to vessels that, you know, need to go all the way back to Guam to rearm and repair. A wolf pack of enemy attack submarines has been operating in and around the Luzon Strait between Taiwan and the Philippines, where they have been pursuing anti-shipping campaign aimed at the local fishing industry as a means of pressuring the Philippine government into submission. Transit to this area at best possible speed and conduct an ASW sweep of the area before the enemy has a chance to escape. Avoid any civilian casualties. I mean, I'm right here in the Luzon Strait. Is it going to be one of these guys? Let's find out. Alright, we're coming in at 10 knots this time, so that's a plus. Clear, moderate breeze, weak surface duct, weak thermal layer at 140 feet. Con, sonar. Rig ship for ultra quiet. All right, 83 decibels. Con sonar, new contact bearing. 19, Zero, 14. four, five. Designated Sierra, one. I cannot make that out very well. But it looks like an alpha. Con sonar, Sierra 1, is classified as submerged submarine. And that's the only one out here so far. Make depth 500 zero, zero feet, die by. All right, let's get these weapons loaded up, huh? Well, there's something a lot closer than 19,000 yards. I mean, it might be the Alpha. You never know. Con sonar, new contact there bearing. Zero, eight, zero. Designated Sierra, two.
not quite. Doesn't match up right here. Con sonar Sierra two is classified as merch con dive at five zero zero feet dive by. Sonar new contact bearing one four four designated Sierra three. Another merchant. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as merchant. How far away are you really, Alpha? Six thousand yards. And you went deeper. Make depth nine zero zero feet dive by. Come left to zero five one helm I. Oh, I guess these things got better sonar, huh? Rig ship for ultra quiet. Oh, wow. Did ultra Con quiet sonar regained contact really on give us Sierra that two much? bearing zero seven seven. Huh. Con, helm, steady course. Come left to zero, two, seven, helm, I. Con, helm, steady course. Come left to three, two, eight, helm, I. One, two, five, zero feet, dive by. Okay, so we are definitely within audible range. Yeah, let's hunt ourselves an alpha and a sea wolf. So it's already one-sided. to get 
one torpedo out? Okay. Let's see, we've got a total of four mosses. We did have a hell of a lot more ad caps. Eight harpoons, eight tomahawk anti-ship missiles, and four tomahawk land attack missiles. What's that red button? Oh, don't want to do that. Let's get these tubes reloaded. Con, 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 maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Con, torpedo room, tube six ready. All right, is that thing far enough away? It sure is. All they had was an alpha. I know it wasn't my target, thanks, but... This might be it. On sonar, lost contact. Rig ship for ultra quiet. 86 decibels. No, um... Duct or layer to worry about. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Zero, one, six, designated Sierra, one. A song, huh? Con sonar, Sierra, one, is classified as submerged submarine. And... Is that a merchant? No, I don't think it is. So we're about on equal depth. And I will stay on my current course. Get this solution to firm up a lot more. That is a song. designation. Come left to three, three, eight, helm I. All right. Con, helm, steady course. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Hello. Zero, four, seven, designated Sierra, three. I guess start from the very beginning, huh? Is it a Ming? Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as a submerged submarine.
certainly glad it's not an improved kilo. I've heard that there is a bug that <clears throat> only the improved kilos uh, launch a torpedo that basically ignores all countermeasures, so yeah. Come right to zero seven five helm I. And that Ming is lower, but what I'm after right now is the song. Con sonar. Con dive at one zero zero feet. Dive by. Huh. The Ming faded, huh? Con sonar regained contact on Sierra two. Con helm steady course. Left two zero one five helm I con sonar lost contact Sierra three last bearing zero four two con helm steady course con fire control weapon con sonar we are cavitating okay con sonar launch transient from Sierra three con fire control we've lost the wire con sonar Sierra one is cavitating con sonar torpedo in the water torpedo in the water bearing zero eight one con sonar noisemaker bearing zero eight three passing 300 feet and we might passing 400 yeah feet. Woo. con sonar no longer cavitating Passing 600 feet. Let's Passing keep diving. 700 feet. Passing 800 feet. Passing 900 feet. Pat. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Passing 1100 feet. Come left to zero four three helm I. Con sonar switching to passive search. pinging for me. And yes, he can definitely pick me up. Con, con, helm, steady course. Are you really that close? thing climb up. Oh, there you are. Hi there. Con sonar, switching to passive search. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, two, eight. 
No, you're gonna you're gonna go this way. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Yep, just keep a little bit ahead of them. Come on, you can do it. Got him. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, three. Last bearing, zero. Two, three. Contact breaking up. Come right to zero, seven, zero. Helm, I. Regained contact on Sierra 2, Barry Con Helm, steady course. All right, Con torpedo room, tube 2 ready. Is that all of the torpedoes? It definitely appears to be. Yes, now hold on, hold on. Okay, everything's loaded. Was this our uh, mission objective here? Very pleased to see that you dealt with those subs with determination and resolve, Commander. Remember that for every enemy as Remember that for every enemy vessel we take out, it means a safer transit for our troops and transports. Good work. Stand by for additional orders. So we did a good thing here. Sub killers. Incidents involving attacks on convoys by hostile submarines in and around the Philippine Sea have rapidly diminished. An anonymous spokesperson suggested that increased U.S. submarine operations in the area are a contributing factor. However, the Pentagon has refused to comment on current operations. As is tradition. Well... I need to go back to Guam, load up on tea lambs, and I'm going to Shantou. Shantou? Shantou. It's Chinese, so I'm going to guess Shantou. Or Shanto? I don't know. Okay, so yeah, we're at almost 40 minutes here, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, call it right here. We got to race over to Guam, pick up four more T-Lambs, and this is where we are launching missiles. Hooray! Save. Quit. And thank you very much for watching this episode, by the way. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.